Santran's got another one. All right, Stacy, what you think? She ain't going nowhere. What's going on, YouTube? This is Stacy with Sandtrans LLC, where we're driving for financial freedom. That's our slogan, that's our motto. And uh, one day we believe we're gonna be financially free through this passive, uh, through passive income. But uh, today I wanna talk about uh, these brokers. Some of these brokers out here I'm telling y'all, they slick, slicker than fish grease, okra juice, fast talking. You gotta be careful. Um, we just pulled a, a tractor out of Pennsylvania, out of Georgia, and uh, the story went like this. You know, we booked the load for $14.25 on the books, and the broker, she gave us 150 she paid us that through paypal which was something new so i gave her my paypal account she paypal that directly to us okay fine so <clears throat> then that meant the the uh the person on the other end uh supposed to be giving us 1300 and um uh, you know we picked the tractor up by the way there were two Dooley's that had already been there uh, which kind of should have threw a red flag to pick that tractor up and they couldn't. I don't know what, if they didn't have the right ramps or whatever the case may be. But anyway we delivered the tractor um, on a Sunday. Matter of fact it was Easter Sunday when we delivered the tractor. So we get there and we're taking the, tra the chains off the, the uh, the trailer and I told the driver I said well look you know make sure you get paid first before um, you, you know you drop that tractor because once you drop the tractor off the trailer it's his property so he can call the police and say hey look you know trespassing you know this tractor is on my property so on and so forth so that's one thing you guys probably need to remember man is um, don't drop that equipment until you get paid and so um, so, you know, we, we telling him what the balance is and he's saying, well, look, I've already paid a deposit of $200 to the, to the broker, which by the way, the broker that he paid the $200 to was somebody that I wasn't even aware of. So it, it was almost like the deal had been flipped one or two times before it even got to us. So he paid them 200 so he thinking his balance is a thousand dollars, which his balance is actually thirteen hundred. And so here we are in the middle of nowhere, with the Dozier sitting on his property, and it's kind of like a standstill. Uh, and then the owner of the tractor agrees to pay us an additional two hundred, which will you know make it twelve hundred, which will basically short us a hundred dollars. So. Um, what we did, we agreed to just take the 1200 and um, I'm currently trying to uh, get my funds back from the actual uh, broker that I dealt with. But, but basically, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much out at the end of the day as far as getting, uh, getting my $100. And she could, you know, I've been calling her, leaving a message. Of course, she's not calling me back. So uh, I think I can report them to to the DAT services and and um, do something to their credit rating, you know. But uh, I guess that's uh, trials and tribulation of being a hot shotter, you know, the learning curve. So just be real careful when you guys are pulling those COD loads. You know, make sure you either get your money up front or you get all your money before uh, before you know they uh, they leave. You know, keep keep all that in mind. 
And um, what else? What else? Well, the truck is up north right now. The truck is up north. Uh, so we, we're doing pretty good. We're putting us some load. We're going to bring it in for service this weekend. And uh, we're actually going to do the service ourselves. We're going to change the... Uh, what are we changing? We're changing the oil, oil filters. We're changing both of the fuel filters. Uh, we got a bad... One bad headlight. That's bad. Oh, yeah. And also, we're going to be installing a, a auxiliary fuel tank. So we've been reading the YouTube videos on that. I mean, watching the YouTube videos on that and the training manuals. And um, we're going to install one of those because uh, the driver says, you know, we, we're killing about 45 minutes every time we stop for fuel. And the tank is only, like you said, about 35 gallons. So we're going to... Um, add that this this weekend if everything works out we can get him back in um so we're looking forward to that uh, we have our website up it's sandtransllc.com so if you get a chance to check it out uh tell us what you think about that uh, and like subscribe to the channel uh check out uh Moja companies uh he's got some uh which is the driver and uh, he's got some hot footage on there about trucking, uh, the do's and don'ts. Um, he just posted uh, where he did what they call an anchor drag off, uh, where he had a container, and they removed the container uh, by dragging it off the trailer, which was which was different. Uh, we thought it was you know real extensive, but uh, it wasn't too bad. So check that out. Like, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.